if she had gotten the horse without the lawsuit, like it's it's like winning on Price is Right. Like you have to pay the taxes. Like it's yeah, fucking like, expensive. What's the expression? My dream home. Yeah. Don't look a gift horse. Put my cock in your mouth. Is- you are. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, boss. <laughs> Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 948 of Hard Factor. It is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. Thank you. For cheating on the news with us today on this Monday, we've got Mbappe, Musk, Mar, manhunts, maulings, mistakes, and much more. And men. <laughs> and, and Mark, speaking of M's, Mark's got mm-hmm. quite a unique look going on today. What's, uh, what's what with the look? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, how, was you your, have... how was your weekend? No. I look no? just like normal, I think. Okay. You, didn't, you didn't have a, a, a meltdown over the weekend? What? Was just make sure you're all right. You, you look a little gaunt, maybe. I don't know. What's oh, the yeah. I, maybe I haven't eaten much food. Maybe I'm a little pale. I don't know. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. What did you guys do this week? I didn't do anything. Where'd you get the I don't cape? Care. What do you talk? Just, I'm, fi- I'm fine. It's, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyone else? Is that a concerned? blouse? <laughs> no, it's. I think it's a cape. I don't know. I can't. It's anyway, guys. I think it's a blouse yeah. under a cape. What nice uh, outfits you guys too. Like okay, thanks. Cool. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Hey, that's all. That's okay. Oh. Don't want to. Just curious. You know? Don't want to start a fight. Yeah. Okay. You don't. Whatever. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what did you guys do this weekend? I did like literally nothing. Mm. I went to the uh, Eagles I... concert. It was pretty awesome. Oh, was how awesome. was that? Yeah. Music. It was great. It's probably not as good as the Cure concert, but okay. The Cure was okay in Austin. Where was that? Well, I mean, in my in my head. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You relived yeah. a Cure concert this weekend, huh? Yeah. In your head, huh? Yeah, the Eagles concert looked cool though. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. Three. They played for over three hours. Moody's new, brand new center in Austin. You would have hated it. Yeah. Well, how's the traffic like? Oh, traffic was was a bitch. It was insane. I hate doing things. Um, yeah. What do you guys want to do? The news or? <laughs> yeah, we should do the news. Okay. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Like we do like the, the trending stories and stuff, I guess. But first is the fun fact. And um, fun fact, yesterday was World Goth Day. Did any of you guys celebrate? Oh, mm-hmm. no, I don't think we did. Did Me, you? Lesser known Me. holiday. Me either. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wait, but you're celebrating. You're celebrating. No, I totally right? celebrated. Yeah, I totally celebrated. Yes, okay. World Goth Day is every. I'm, dude. Uh, yeah, because God, I'm goth as hell. World Goth Day is every May twenty second because that's when Susie and the Banshees earth shattering single that describes the way so many people feel to a T, Spellbound, was released. Uh, the official World Goth Day website defines May twenty second as quote a day where the goth scene gets to celebrate its own being and an opportunity opportunity to make its presence known to the rest of the world, a.k.a. a school day at any public school. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, nice. it actually started as Goth Day in the UK in 2009, and it was really cool. But we I mean, they wanted it to get bigger. So they ex- uh, expanded it to World Goth Day. So there you go. Another fun fact is goth makeup can sometimes take a few days to remove YouTube.com slash hard factor for the video version of the show. <laughs> You're goth. Uh, you used your wife's makeup, didn't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he didn't use the stage makeup. Oh, uh, man. I would be goth all week. No. Your goth hairdo is fantastic, Mark. I mean, oh, it's, it's like, perfect. It's, it's just it's just a hairdo, Will. So uh, okay, yeah. It's just I mean, my hair. You might consider that a full time thing. I mean, the painting was a gift. Will. Although you'll have to probably like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like adjust your actions a little bit if you want right. to go with that all the time. I just don't care. I don't care either way. So um, you can't mention- unsee this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <All right>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna see it every May 22nd and 23rd and 24th. Uh, 
It's honorable Goth mentions. Week. Yeah, it's Goth Week, baby. <laughs> I don't watch. Okay, sports update. Oh, really? Sports? Uh, there's lots Gross. of soccer news. Mbappe, the French superstar forward, is in fact staying at PSG, his French club, after a, a lot of speculation he was going to Spanish team, Spanish super team Real Madrid. And Real Madrid is not happy they missed out on the striker. They even filed an official complaint. <gasps> an official complaint? Oh, my. Oh, no. With UEFA saying that PSG is losing hundreds of millions of dollars a year and in the name of financial fair play what they're doing is wrong um they're saying they can't afford mbappe's salary and the wages of their squad and employees and blah 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 who cares wine 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 etc interesting so there's basically psg is not a good enough team to have mbappe they're saying they don't make enough money for mbappe uh right. sounds to me like the big guy uh is trying to keep the little guy down uh, we yeah. get it you're profitable real madrid very cool honestly i don't know if psg is breaking any rules or not and i, I really don't care uh, i find it rich that a complaint about financial shenanigans is being made to uefa maybe fifa can weigh in on a financial scandal right. while we're at it yeah by the richest franchise in the world too yeah give me a break oh, i see um, what you're doing there yeah if the checks don't get cut to employees at PSG, like the people at the grounds crew and stuff. Let's hear about it. Otherwise, who cares? I'll tell you who cares. Spanish League President Javier Tabez. He sure as shit cares. Uh, he spat out his tapas uh, when he heard the news. Oh, my God. Then he tweeted out uh, uh, that what PSG did was a, quote, insult to soccer in all caps. And uh, to him, I say, why don't you take a siesta, buddy? It's going to be OK. You know, get yourself some more octopus and olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> He's from his beach front from his beach front house. He spat out yeah. his top as oh, it's a great food yeah. country. Yeah, his, his cured meat room uh, In other soccer news. Leeds United is marching on together with all the other best clubs, uh, club teams in England. As on the last match day of EPL yesterday, they beat the Brentford Bees two to one. Thanks to a 94th minute goal by Jack Harrison. And uh, who cares that there were only 10 bees in the field? Thanks to a much needed red card because Burnley didn't get it done on the final day losing right. two to one to a very beatable newcastle united and now burnley is relegated and leeds is staying up and i oh, ask you burnley was it fluid. ever in doubt yes not yes, at all was. not no nope. no mark i think it really was because when you think about it if uh the last game they benefited from red card they also benefited from red card in another recent win at the end of the season had they not gotten two red cards almost certainly on the other teams, almost certainly Leeds would have been relegated for sure. Like Red cards is the best part about soccer. Yeah, I mean, it's like kind of like a get out of jail free. Yeah. Get, they got it means you get them. to sit down for a while. They got, you get they to got sit two out. of them to end the season. <laughs> Because you don't have to participate. I played, I'm three, happy for I played three soccer games and got three red cards. Uh, oh, Manchester City won the EPL for the fourth time in five years after a comeback to uh, best Liverpool by a point or two. But who cares? Uh, last sports update. Yeah. God, I wish this was a music update. I wish I were invisible, actually. Uh, Justin Thomas won <laughs> the PGA Championship again. Uh, congratulations, guy. We didn't bet on. That was like 101 on Sunday morning to win. Um, something insane. Yeah. Uh, Hey, at least at least Zalatoris didn't win, you know? Yeah. For your yeah. sake. Yeah, I bet on Zalatoris a lot, but I didn't yeah. care this week. I don't know why. <laughs> Bill Maher is breaking Normie's <laughs> brains again, guys. Did you see this? Did you hear about this? I did. Yeah. yeah. Watch the whole Watch thing. Watch his monologue. Maher did yeah, a nine-minute yeah, monologue. Yeah, quite a monologue, yeah. Yeah, it was like an, on his new I show. couldn't finish it because it was so long, but yeah, I watched a lot of well, it. He likes the sound of his own voice, that guy. Uh, <laughs> Maher did a nine-minute monologue on LGBTQ joking about how people that identify as such has been doubling uh, each generation with 20% at the current Gen Z um, up from 10% from millennials and 4% from Gen X and 2% from baby boomers and 0% from the greatest generation. Um, <laughs> and he said, because of that, uh, we're all going to be gay by 2054. Um, so yeah. <laughs> if you follow that model. Yeah. If you follow that exponential yeah. model doubling, uh, he also, that's, made that's scary. Yeah. He also made this joke uh, what about population collapse. Yeah. yeah. He said at this joke, <laughs> it wasn't that long. It'd be great for adoption for like a, a, a one generation, but then the next, for one, yeah, for, yeah. for a very short time. time. Uh, he said, quote, <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when adults asked a kid, what do you want to be when you grow up? They meant what profession? <laughs> 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 oh, Mari. Yeah, yeah, no, there was definitely, I mean, it's a classic. He had about, you know, like, I only watched half of it, and there was 50 punchlines in that half, you know. It's like, he's just like a motor mouth kind of, you know. Then he, then he had the nerve to like and identifying as gay or trans uh, these days to being a trendy fad amongst kids that wanted to rebel, to which I say, what the fuck are you talking about, uh, narc? 
You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Make, making these comments on World Goth Day is pretty disrespectful, Bill, if you ask me. I will say, uh, whether you hate Bill Maher or like Bill Maher, what we need, and I'll never say this because I don't like Bill Maher, but what we need more of is moderate dudes like Bill Maher who are on one side but messing with an idea of the other side. It's good. It's good. It's good discourse. I thought yeah. it was good, yeah. Um, my favorite joke of his monologue was when, uh, he goes, I wanted to be a pirate when I was a kid. Thank God. No one took me seriously and scheduled me for eye removal and peg leg surgery. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. He, he really I went like in. The oops, all berries jokes too. <laughs> yeah, oops, all berries. <laughs> yeah. He really went in on the surgeries thing the, the because, because recently, um, Finland and Sweden have outlawed, uh, Blockers, the, yeah. the the the, the what, yeah whatever yeah. the the yeah. hormones for kids yeah. fluctuations yeah. with kids um like forced forced messing with it by the doctors and so uh and there's a bone was density issues he, he, he was, referenced uh, he was like whatever you know, bone density all both bunch right. of suicide other well others. we all know the fins like big bones they're tall they tall, do tall, tall yeah. strong folks they, they love do. very strong yeah bones. they like yeah. a strong bone vikings I've, like they yeah they yeah. want to make like yeah a weapon out of your bones after i feel like most people are on that same tip just like, heal yeah. probably most people are like you know if you were to take everyone right who's like do you know hey i don't care or i'm pro uh anyone being whoever the fuck they want to be i feel like most of those people would be like yeah I, I don't know about like surgery at a certain age right but the problem is that healthcare, right surgery is healthcare. also therapy is healthcare in places like texas and that's where it all gets lumped in together and it's like fuck that's a problem right yeah, I mean, but why can't these kids just therapy like talk therapy? Why can't versus, these kids just go lock no. themselves in the room and listen to music all, all day and night? That's they could I, do that, Mark. Yeah. yeah. The other joke he said was uh, if uh, if everyone turned out to be uh, or if everyone knew at age eight what they wanted to be, we'd, everyone would be a princess or a cowboy. We'd have a bunch of princesses or cowboys running around. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of awesome. All right. uh, it was yeah, he, yeah, yeah. The remarks, the jokes about like, uh, you know, L.A. dinner parties and like you know, he's like, he's like, you know, you go to a dinner party and every single person has a trans kid. Like what, what's, what are the odds? Like, uh, you know, that, that, those, those observations were kind of like, I mean, like Pat said, it's like, it's fair for him to, to, to ask about that. Yeah. Cause it's so new. Well, I feel it like he missed the mark on purpose a few times there. Like obviously he was when having he was talking, fun with it. Yeah, he definitely missed the mark on purpose to get to get some traction for controversy, like yeah. saying, oh, is it is it because L.A. Uh, creates them or Ohio right. doesn't? It's like the L.A. is way more accepting, obviously. And then also the, the the like the doubling. It's like, yeah, well, people couldn't come out that much, you know, back in the day because it was. People, yeah, there's probably, it. Got, there's probably more than 06 percent yeah. in the 30s. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, t tough week for LGBTQs and social media, I should say, tougher than usual, as another viral event from the weekend was Dave Chappelle hopping on stage at the John Mulaney comedy show for a pr surprise opening set where he lampooned gays and trans folks again after promising not to at the end of his hour long special lampooning gays and trans. What was that special called? Ew, she's got a dick. Uh, some, something like that. <laughs> that was a working um, title. I don't yeah. know. If that, <laughs> uh, but the joke I heard he made, it was pretty good. I don't, what, did he, what did he make? Uh, I got attacked by a, a, a gun that identifies as a knife. Oh, that's pretty good because uh, <laughs> the, the knife guy and it yeah. was a gun knife. That makes sense. Uh, Chappelle, if that's the joke, it's pretty good. Chappelle can't help himself, though. But surprisingly, Milady is catching more heat than Dave Chappelle is just for allowing him to be the opener. Uh, like a bunch of people were like, how dare you bring out Dave Chappelle to tell his jokes that you didn't write or have anything to do with uh, John Mulaney? Um, I don't know. It's I, because he's yeah. a he's a liberal comedian. Look, there, there's just yeah, like if I were just, people. But will if because I were people, the culture war is so intense right, right now. But if I were people, I'd be more upset about John Mulaney leaving his wife who did not want to divorce the second he got out of rehab and shacking up with Olivia Munn and knocking her up within a year after no. saying he never wanted to have kids with his ex-wife of 10 years and clearly Mark, hated. She's the people, reason he drank, probably. To people who are going to get upset about something like this, <laughs> that doesn't matter at all. I mean, yeah. I know, but he hated his, he hated his ex-wife. Who saw the Carlin yeah. thing? Did anyone watch the yeah. Carlin thing? Mm-mm. Oh, my God. Awesome. On HBO, Judd Apatow's two part documentary series about George Carlin came out. And they, I mean, it's fucking amazing. You should watch it because it tells you so much about free speech. But he, he was talking about how uh, like Lenny Bruce it was the 60s. People were getting arrested for obscenity for saying shit on on um, stage. And that's why the uh, the comedy record, like the album was so huge because it was the first time that comedians could get their 
actual act out to people. Yeah. yeah, without getting arrested. And I didn't realize it was into the 60s that that was the case, the obscenity laws. But like, that's the same thing. It's like, the, like if you start boycotting John Mulaney, yeah, if you start calling for, like, yeah, exactly. hey, you can well, say like, hey, I don't agree with what this guy said on stage, why but that's people, okay. You can deal with it for 30 minutes. That's right. America. Why are people getting upset about him bringing up the biggest comedian of all time to do a surprise comedy set? That seems okay because to me politics. to do at a so comedy crazy. show. They it's should be so thanking crazy. him those gays. Because they shows. thought his material was, was, was gauche. They thought his material was passe or shitty. Come it's on. not in the it's not in the interest come on people if you go if you go, he thinks. If you so go a, to see a comedian at a stand-up show and he brings out a bigger comedian to open the show that's a win right i mean i want these people to go to fucking new york city that's go like, to go to not a good comedy club don't go to like the cellar go to a comedy club where like uh just under professional comedians are performing like the guys when they're like in times square they're like i got tickets for a comedy club go to one of those comedy clubs you know what's going to happen you're going to get fucking crowd worked is what's going to happen someone's going to look at you and make fun of your ass and guess what you deal with it you smile you laugh if these people had gone to that show they'd fucking call the cops and be like politics gotten so serious for anybody that that they care about like they're fucking appalled if a certain comedian gets last second added to their show i mean it's just like give it a fucking rest he's like, the biggest comedian in the world overboard this right is like now. if the bajas came out and opened for the cure or if alice and alice <laughs> cooper came out right you just you just enjoy the moment and people uh, protest who are, it yeah who are the, the Bajas? comes out and everybody walks <laughs> apparently out apparently the they started yeah. the golf trend in the 70s okay <laughs> I was looking for I was looking for best goth band and I, I was yeah. struggling. Yeah. Bajas. Yeah. Bajas. These guys were, these guys were acting like it was the Baja men that came yeah. and opened for the kids. Let, let me get a picture. Let me get a picture of the Bajas real quick. Up there. <laughs> no, Pat, you're right though. If you go to if you go to like an undercover, like an underground, like like comedy club, you will hear the most offensive shit yeah, you've obviously. ever heard in your life. And it's like you that's what you that's what you should expect to hear when you go to a comedy club. If you go to a comedy, hear- these are the Bajas. Yeah. Oh that's wow! Like, come on, baby. That's the 70s you know, just fucking it, you go to a comedy show take take the, the stick out of your ass if you, from, yeah, from, if you, from if the second offended, you get in the car to the second you leave take your stick, yeah, take the exactly. stick out of your ass go get a beer a show. yeah go get a beer when Chappelle's on stage yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. now you now no one's being, in line to get a beer besides right, your stupid exactly. ass because you yeah you didn't pay like the fucking owner the opener is bonus you idiot it's all That's fucking bonus is. How Why many you- phones just immediately went up? Like everyone oh, yeah. immediately because they were locked they were up. All taken. Yeah, they're all they locked, locked up. Oh, but it was a Mulaney show, not a Chappelle. No, yeah, but they were are we allowed like, to they, be they, here? They lock them up. Are yeah. we? Are we allowed to be? Why'd here Why'd right you now? bring Dave Chappelle to do jokes at the joke show? <laughs> yeah. What else happened over the weekend? Uh, Kate McKinnon, A.D. Bryant, Kyle Mooney, and Pete Davidson said goodbye on SNL. They are mo- moving on. Of the cast leaving, Lauren Michaels said, "We are really going to miss Kate McKinnon." <laughs> hey Mark, let's predict. So who we got? got? We got like eighty. Yep. Kate McKinnon, Pete Davidson, and who else? Uh, Kyle Mooney, the guy. From Mooney, the, okay. Yeah, the comedy group guy. Hey, that that's those are the big four they're leaving. Yep. All right. What do you guys? Th- who do you guys think in five years is going to be the biggest star out of the four of those? I got to look uh, a couple of them up. That tells you anything. I mean, okay. Kate, I Kate McKinnon I mean, is currently, I, I think, this, and Pete Davidson current, via via the Kardashians. I think comedy wise, maybe eighty Bryant. Pete Davidson. She, she could fill the role the of like chubby girl. Like, yeah, yeah, be, yeah. A- Ad Bryant can be in any movie, filling the role of main chubby girl. Pete so Davidson strictly because roles. he's he's yeah. involved in the romance drama, and especially yeah. if he knocks up Kim, then for sure Pete, Pete Davidson. Davidson Kate will McKinnon be the most headlines. The most Kate McKinnon I, has the most talent. I agree. I think McKinnon will be the biggest star. I think yeah. she'll do a serious role. I think she could be a huge star. Yeah. Yeah. She might. Yeah, she go into needs acting. to have a. She needs to have a really big acting performance because she's her acting and her sketch comedy has gone downhill. I feel like in the last couple of years, so she needs to have a comeback. And I think that's why she's getting let go. Yeah. Oh, she's not getting let go. She's not she, getting let go. She, she's leaving probably she because she's been go. given half yeah. of her attention <laughs> nice to SNL travel. to do movies. <laughs> yeah, she, well, she's she, not, left. No. she left. Oh, she left. No, these are, the, yes. no these are the. No, these are stars that they, they, they all don't left. Let go. They all left on their own. Yeah, yeah. these are the biggest. Oh, stars the, oh the, she's too big for SNL. Yeah, these four people. Th- yeah. These four people are. They all oh, left to do bigger. That's things. shocking to me, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's the biggest name currently on SNL. So who else would it would it be? If anyone, it's going to be her and Pete Davidson, and then Kyle Mooney snuck it snuck in there. Um, and eighty. I'm leaving like, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, his buddy left. I think the year before, right? Beck uh, from Good Neighbor. Beck Bennett. I like yeah. Kyle Mooney. I think he's good. That's I think he's that's how, that's 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 what. The, 
I, I assumed they were all getting let go. That's what no. I think of current no. SNL. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, no one's no one's getting let go on SNL. They're leaving if they. All right, what else happened? Jeff Peanut Butter had a major recall for a potential salmonella outbreak from their Lexington, Kentucky factory. That's not good. Uh, I don't eat peanut butter. It's not a problem for me. I only eat foods that are actively bleeding. Uh, Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian got married in Italy, and Nancy Pelosi got booted from her church, which takes us to the cream of the crop. And today's cream of the crop is Elon Musk's first sexual assault allegation. You haven't made it until the sexual assault allegation. That's what the ultra rich people that oftentimes get away with sexual assault say to each other. You finally made it, Musk, my boy. See, yeah, see, it'll never stick, Musk. No one trusts broads. Well, buy a, a killer that's Musk. A, that's what Buffett <laughs> says to him. Every says to every every guy, especially first, Musk. He's been first one, huh, Musk? Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> I remember my first allegation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah yeah you guys saw that right <laughs> uh, i heard about it. i'm not here about this <laughs> okay so business insider dropped an article right after our last yeah, the, show of the week was, ended yeah, it, was it was like thursday night piece. or friday morning uh and the, it accused the richest man in the world elon musk of sexually assaulting an employee of his a flight attendant on a spacex corporate jet uh so the woman accused musk of exposing his erect penis to her Whoa. rubbing rubbing up against her leg with his cock without her consent <laughs> and offering to buy her a horse in exchange for a hand job, which, by the way, <laughs> is not only a good deal, a horse for a handy, but also a major flex because only rich what people, yeah. only rich people yeah. dropped like horses as potential gifts. How about <laughs> like, a thoroughbred? A full well, she, horse. She was a known, <laughs> a she's a a known horseback yeah. rider. This yeah. Lady. Oh, he knew. Uh, yeah. yeah. She's she's like a she's one of those people that's like the first thing they tell you is like, oh, I, I was out riding this weekend. She's and been working her whole life and she wants to get a horse. And he said, all you need to do is give me a hand job and the horse is yours. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. This alleged incident occurred back in 2016. That was pre Grimes. He would never after being with our queen Grimes. Love you, Grimes. Hmm. Um, she changed him for the better, probably. Uh, there's a friend, a witness, uh, some documentation, emails, and there was, I guess, a $250,000 payment to the flight attendant, which the woman claims was hush money, a uh, hush money payoff, and Musk and company claim was like just part of her getting out of the company package, $250,000 to a flight attendant, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Just because she was leaving and she deserved it, right? Um, and Musk went on to defend himself. He said, "Quote: If I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time uh, in my entire 30-year career that it just comes to life." And then he added, "This is just a politically motivated hit piece from the left for you know for like my buying of Twitter and saying you know I'm leaning right." And I told you this was going to happen. Uh, he also challenged the victim to describe what his penis looked like. <laughs> I to knew prove, this was going to happen. Yeah. To prove she wasn't lying, and I really hope she is lying because daring the victim of sexual assault to go so far back into the moment that they have to describe your erect penis would be pretty fucked up it's like go on how many veins were there did you oh. like what you saw it's different than other men's isn't it yeah would you say that would be more fucked up if you uh, did that to a child mark a, a child victim of sexual assault uh i mean i don't really care that's the Michael Jackson case. Remember oh. that? Remember why they were taking mm. pictures of his dong? Because right. they were f- oh. they figured it looked weird. And then no, they were like, OK, this. Timmy, yeah. what did yeah. it look like? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, it, yeah, I mean Elon, obviously yeah. Musk has a bend or something. Was that was the head axe yeah. shaped? Yeah. Which right. way is it bent? He said he, he, he implied that there is something very unique about the way his naked body looks. Yeah. yeah he like dyed his penis or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's and, then, def- and, that, and that if she's seen it, that she would know and she would be able to. She to tweet would it never, never forget it. And he yeah. wants her to remember it. If that's <laughs> that's the case. So- yeah, it's it's pretty creepy. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me what she'd, it looks oh, like. She'd remember wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It can talk um, like what, what the fuck. Uh, so what do you guys think? Musk a creep uh, that pulls his cock out on flights or a victim of political bullshit? I mean, it's one paper running it, so I would have to see more than B.I., who's known for running bullshit hit pieces. Uh, right. That happened to be behind uh, a fucking paywall. Right. That, that's the know. thing. It's like all of a sudden Business Insider has first at the table for any like sexual assault allegations, Portnoy, Musk. And then if you click it, you got to read B.I. Now, B.I. is doing a great thing. Right. But are these sexual assault uh, accusers, are they getting paid for, for the subscriber base growth that B.I. is doing? Absolutely uh, look- not. I mean, look what's happening in the in the herd Depp case right now. 
right? I mean, re- tangentially related to these people, um, you know, I love and, Jack, and, Captain and Jack business, it, business insider and whatnot. So like, Here's yeah, my- I mean, you never know. It's, it's a, it's a, it, it's a big time uh, frog of war situation going on with all of these, um, you know, high profile uh, uh, sexual harassment and assault. I don't think because, yeah. you know, the, it's been proven that a lot of times there's some bullshit going on. Let's hear about the penis, lady. Hmm, I, hmm. I feel like I feel like uh, that what that's a big jump, you know, like I feel like we would have heard if he was a take your penis out and show it kind of guy. There are probably going to be many, that's many what he's more. saying, Wes. That's right, exactly right. what he's saying. So, yeah. So well, I, I think I'm, I'm on Elon, Elon's side. I, and I thought he would be like maybe like an ass groper or something like that, like in a hug. But uh, taking your that's that's a big one. That's a big one. I mean, Ben Roethlisberger didn't even get in trouble when they described his penis as being gray. So even if someone described it, I'm not sure he would get in too much right. trouble. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the important thing point. is, is like if he's a we, out we, guy. we, we, we got to believe accusers that that's usually what this is. But the bigger issue is this. Here's an issue we can discuss. Business insider. If you actually care about this, like if you well, actually believe accusers, we? right? Well, yeah, you should give them the benefit of the doubt. But but if you business probably insider, not one that, that accused despite having probably signed an NDA about it. This, this is it's an interesting situation. Because, I almost finished the point. Yeah. What I was trying to say is business insider. If you care about if you, if you, people that are being sexually assaulted, don't put your shit behind a paywall because it looks shady as fuck. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it also looks shady by the accuser to, to have be, be claiming to be breaching her NDA while exposing what's going on. So it's like, you know, if that was hush money, then you're breaking your terms right now. You're 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 lying to the contract. Yeah, I, I, OK, but I still think uh, if it's true, uh, you know, screw the NDA like it, it, like, well, oh, sure, no, she but, broke sure, the NDA. Another, oh, no, that's not as sure, bad. But it's another morals. reason to yeah. not trust her assessment because she is already, you know, say, claiming she's, she's breaking a legal. We should uh, listen to everything she agreement. says, but believing is another right thing. you should give people the benefit of the doubt but not yeah you don't have to like condemn you, you gotta you right. gotta hear it out you gotta hear yeah. it out um, yes, of course and i imagine there would be more of this if this was 2016 there would be more of this than just her probably i don't think he pulled yeah. it out just once if he did right exactly you know what i mean yeah so i don't know stay tuned but it's a I big think, one and done if so it's, it's, <laughs> it seems like a nothing burger for me. usually one at the one and yeah. those usually aren't one and done guys yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. as has, they get richer too yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah well he right. might be he might have just gone straight to robots after this lady was such a headache he might just be fucking robots now you know a lot of people don't know also that a gift of a horse is actually a burden because horses are really expensive like, well, like not to her yeah. because she's got frivolous lawsuit money so okay you're right but be I mean, only only got, because he offered money, the horse money's so, table money <laughs> but he only because he offered the horse what i'm saying will it's like he, if she, if she had gotten the horse without the lawsuit like it's it's like winning on prices right like you have to pay the taxes like it's yeah, fucking like, expensive what's the expression my dream home yeah don't look a gift horse put my cock in your mouth is that the expression <laughs> yeah that is it I think that's don't look a gift horse <laughs> blow 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 yeah. a billionaire <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, and that's today's cup of coffee. Coffee's gross. It keeps you awake. I prefer to be asleep, whatever. Uh, it was brought to you by our new sponsor, Feels. And if you're like me and all of my real friends, you've got a lot of anxiety. Coffee does not help that, but CBD actually does help with my stress and anxiety, and it can help with pain as well. Will's holding up that Feels for you. Uh, feels is a better way to feel better. Uh, Feels is a premium CBD that will help to keep your head clear and feel your best. It's a hassle-free, delivered directly to your door, and it's CBD naturally um, that helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. There's no hangover or addiction. Place a few drops of Feels under your tongue and feel the difference within minutes. The thing to remember about CBD, guys, is that finding your right dose is important. Everyone's is different. Oh, and by the way, Feels liquid capsules come in large doses, so it can last you a long time time i i use feels daily now and it for sure works there's no, yeah. a noticeable effect and i feel amazing uh and for you guys started using the feels oh yeah it's oh, so relaxed uh, mm-hmm. yeah, love it mm-hmm. and he feels it exactly in fact feels offers a free cbd hotline to help guide your personal experience so that you find your perfect dose which is awesome the feels customer service team is dedicated to making sure you get the best use of your cbd joining the feels monthly membership makes your self-care easy you'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel anytime start feeling better with feels become a member today by going to feels.com slash factor and you'll get 50 percent off your first order with with free shipping whoa 
I don't care about much, but that sounds nice. That's F E A L S dot com slash factor to become a member and get 50% automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash factor. All right. That was a lot of talking. You guys do the rest of the show. <laughs> Thanks, that's, what a, Sorry. that's what a cape it's, is for. Drains. <laughs> just <gonna> disappear. <laughs> Sorry, that was so draining. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Proud of you, though. That must have been really hard. <laughs> Eric, this was a pain in the ass to get all the makeup on. So if you want to do a clip down of my uh, emo nest, you can go for it, buddy. All right, there you go. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, we have another manhunt. Manhunt on our hands. This is the third major manhunt, or a hat trick, if you will, which officially makes May 2022 Manhunt May. Man hunt man. Man hunt man. What? Yo, is that the best guy and worst guy you want chasing you if you're a fugitive? Yeah, it's Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. You definitely don't want TLJ Jones. chasing you. Yeah. Jones, yes, of course. Who I hear is just a delight in person. Um, guys, this time. No, that was a lie. Guys, this time. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a pill? I hear he's, he's grumpy pill? as hell. I oh, hear he's looks ab- grumpy, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hear he's grumpy as hell. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, what I was trying to say is this. Uh, the, uh, the This time it's a lady. And uh, it's it's right here in our home state of Austin, Texas. Hometown of Austin, Texas for, for two of us. Uh, we're talking about. 36 year old Caitlin Marie Armstrong. So Caitlin Marie is currently on the run. Police officers do not know where she is. Here's Caitlin. Take a look. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Uh, she's a pretty girl. Yoga instructor, yeah, right? Very, pretty cool. Very, very, Curly very hair. Mm-hmm. What's her crime? Her crime? What's her crime? Well, the murder of 25 year old rising talent in the off road and gravel cycling circuit, Hannah Mariah, or Anna Mariah. I'm sorry. There's Anna. Take a look. Well, oh, she's nice. Very nice girl. Yeah. Mo? Okay. Mo, they call her Mo. How'd you know that? How'd you know? Um, yeah, uh, th- I guess Anna banged Caitlin's man, that man being 35 year old Colin Strickland, who's also a star in the gravel cycling sport, but not nearly as talented as Anna Mariah, who he described uh, in a police affidavit as, quote, the best female cyclist in the United States and possibly the world. So, pretty Whoa. important lady. Here's a yeah. picture of Colin. She won Damn. like 10 pro events this past year. Like, she just is oh, by wow. far. Yeah, good. she's like the best. Yeah. And she's also dead was now, unfortunately. Was the best. Yeah. Was the yes. Best. So, what happened, guys? Well, Colin and Caitlin Armstrong dating for is a this while. Is an Nancy Kerrigan thing? Uh, it's not an Nancy Kerrigan thing. Tanya Harding thing? It's not a Tanya Harding thing. It's a uh, pure jealousy and rage thing. Oh, yeah, so, well. Mm-hmm. But not for sport, for love. For love, yes. Okay. So, Colin and Colin and Caitlin have been dating for a while, right? But at some point last year, they went on a little break. And during that break, uh, Anna Mariah was in Austin for a cycling event. And uh, I guess it was sometime in the fall of last year. And Anna and Colin got together. And it was like a fling. It lasted about a week or two. Definitely some banging taking what place. What an athletic okay. sexual week, you know? Oh, man, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You'd two, hope, top, two top performers. You'd hope someone got pregnant that week. You really would. Yeah. Um, no one did. What a cyclist they'd be. But then yeah. also, that would be complicated, right? Because Especially in Texas. Very complicated. Yeah. Uh, but guys, they banged, and then they stopped banging. And then Caitlin and Colin got back together. It's all right. That was, that was in the fall, right? I guess in January... Caitlin found out that Colin and Anna banged. And uh, according to unnamed sources, Caitlin was furious. Uh, apparently, mm-hmm. she was shaking in anger and rage after she found out that they got together. This is the type of person Caitlin is. What complicated things a little bit long- more is, you know, the, f- the relationship ended in the fall between Anna and Colin. And then in December, Caitlin and Colin are back together. And Colin bought them both nine millimeter handguns for some reason. That was a mistake. Maybe he wanted Mo dead too. <laughs> this is a big fucking mistake. Yeah, this is then in up. January he tells <laughs> Caitlin that he was banging Mo. Okay, you know let's what? take it to May. For our one year anniversary, I'm gonna get your crazy ass a handgun. He, he got out of the guns then and told her? Uh he got out of the guns then and told her, yeah. <laughs> why did he yeah. wait, so why he <laughs> told her afterwards? Her. <laughs> why did he tell her afterwards? He's a mole. I don't he know why Mo, he told he her. He wanted Mo dead. 
Well, I don't know why he told her. It was probably because they maintained a relationship. So like not like a platonic friendship, mm-hmm. he claims. Yeah, but it's, it's, cannot tell it was a lie. during the break. They he can cheat on her, but he cannot tell alone. a lie. Yeah. Right. It was a weak moment. And he thought they were like telling truths and he went too far. Oh, my goodness. She tricked him, probably. It could be. Um, <laughs> I mean, like they're yeah, there. You're both agreed. You're broken up. Like, <laughs> don't. Don't I, rehash what everybody did during that time. When I right, took I, your PlayStation it's just gonna lead and, to I, bad things. and I sold it. Now you go. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Uh, look, I mean, I guess Anna, Anna and Colin are in the same like circuit, right? Like they both do gra- off gravel racing or whatever, which is like a mix between off road and street biking. Right. That's the problem. So like she's around all the time and Austin's yeah. a hotbed for this, apparently. So like. Yeah, and and he's older. And a better racer. He's yeah. very good. He's older. Like he was, the, they're like the prom king and prom queen. He's usually winning. She's usually winning. They're taking photos together. It's a niche sport yeah. too. And, and she's an up and comer. She's twenty five best in the world. He's sponsored by Red Bull. He's been around a long time. So no matter what, she's going to be around. So I think that's probably it's like, look, Caitlin. By the way, on our break, me and Anna, right. and then uh, no more, no mas. It's, yeah, we don't do it anymore. But I'll I'll be seeing her almost every day for from here on out. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm managing her now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm her manager. Yes. yes. So uh, anyway, genius, this guy cut to May 11, May 11. There is a uh, there's a race in Austin, Texas. Anna comes down. Bam. Strickland. Colin Strickland. Uh, he told Caitlin Armstrong he was going out to deliver flowers. I guess he made a, might have a side hustle for one hundred flowers. He was going out to, uh, to to pound some flour. Yeah, maybe. You know, make make some dough. Yeah. Uh, well, he told her he was going to make some <laughs> dough. Flour. I'm going to go deliver flowers. Yeah. Uh, he claimed his battery had died, um, so Caitlin couldn't get in touch with Colin. But Caitlin, the type of woman that was shaking mad when she found out that her uh, boyfriend banged someone on a break. Wasn't, I guess, taking uh, that for truth. Um, she was already following him. Trust mm-hmm. is gone. Yeah. yeah, she followed the shit out of him. Yeah. Um, she followed him every day of her life from that point on. Yeah. Yeah. Do With you guys do you yeah. guys know about do you guys know about the uh, the cyclist app Strava Fitness? You familiar yeah, with it? I've heard yeah. of it. Yes. Right. So um, Strickland thinks that Caitlin was able to follow them using the Strava Fitness app, even though the phone was off. Or maybe the phone was on and he was just ignoring it. I don't know. I've never used the app, but um, they went to Pool Burger, right? Which is uh, right under Deep Eddie Cabaret. Great spot. Shout out to my boy Will Bridges, who owns Pool Burger. He, he went to Fur Burger. Excellent spot. Then they went to the Deep Eddie Pool for a swim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. And he went clam. And then he went muff diving. Well, then he dropped her off. <laughs> He dropped her off. He dropped on Anna his bicycle. Off. Uh, no, no, no. They were they were driving. No, off of his oh, crotch. Okay. Took her off. <laughs> <laughs> Colin dropped Anna off at a friend's right. house where she was staying. Okay, and then something happened. Presumably, Caitlin came in there and fucking murdered her because a jeep that looks just like Caitlin's showed up on the ring camera outside of the East Austin apartment, and then left the East Austin apartment. They have both of that on the uh, ring camera. And then Caitlin was found. I'm sorry. Anna was found dead. Uh, Namaste. Namaste. You know, mm hmm. And now she's on a fucking she's on the run, bro. It's manhunt 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 city. They don't know where she is. No, but yeah, but they arrest her. her. No, they so they they did. You see the part where she got picked up but then she got released right so they picked her up for a misdemeanor yeah. and unrelated misdemeanor i couldn't really figure what that was so they they picked her up for a misdemeanor they they knew it was her they they figured it out and they went and interviewed strickland and when they went to his house they saw the car and and he was like that's not my car that's that's the my girlfriend's Caitlin's car. Caitlin's Caitlin's car. Yeah. and they're like oh, okay we're figuring it out now they figured it out they picked up caitlin and they were holding her on a misdemeanor while they collected more evidence and in the middle of the interview they get word that the the uh warrant is no good that that she she's free to go and so they're like oh. uh you're actually free to go if you want but or you could stay and talk about this murder and she's like i'm gonna leave and then she fled she's gone yeah so they, they had her left the country. they didn't tell her wow. they, they had her and they had to let her go because they picked her up on a false like a, a, a false Damn. warrant yeah yeah Bullshit. jesus man it's terrible well there's no i mean like well she's probably easier to hide as just like a generic looking girl than like right. casey white for, for example but right she should probably straighten her hair though because probably yeah, her hair is pretty recognizable. It's like yeah. auburn and wavy. Dye yeah. it and straighten it. Yeah. I mean, well, don't get caught. We prefer you get caught. But, you know, but here's my here's my, here's my big question. The guys. Jealousy murder. Yeah. Here's my big question. So they broke but up. Also, the- her, the guy, I mean, you he's got to be on suicide watch because this is pretty much all on him. Yeah, so. he, he knows it's his fault. He, he made some comments being like, I feel 
partially responsible. Well, that's what I want to know. <laughs> you, partially. <laughs> Everyone's got a friend. her after getting back with his other girlfriend. No, he that wasn't. Gave her a gun. He wasn't. I know, but he lied about the flower oh, he was situation. He, yeah, but he, but he, yo, come he on, might he not have been. How do you know for Deep sure? Eddie swim? They, yeah, they went for a swim. It's, just his, it's just his word, Pat. Yeah. They, they, it's 100%. He's still chilling with her. 100%. He, he set and this up. He even, put, even put him on suicide watch. Even worse, he admired her after they, like, after, yeah. the, after he found out, she, he made the comment about how she's the best in the world. And then he started talking shit about his girlfriend. He goes, my girlfriend's not even good. She's a and participant. And he the murder weapon. He's like, she's a participant in these races. We're racers. She doesn't even be- really belong right. at the events. Like he, he was he, talking. He got a taste <laughs> of it. He got a taste yeah. of championship yeah. pussy. And, and uh, I don't train with her. Stop. I by her handgun. He bro. said, in fact, that he can't train with her anymore. Well, because she slows him down, which was a quote after right. the fact, too. He's like, I can't even train with her. She slows me down. She's pathetic. Uh, I just want to know. She, she has a <laughs> shitty shot, too. Shitty aim. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. so crazy. She probably fired a few off or was really close. Do you want do you guys think that if I just it, it, everyone knows someone's got a crazy like boyfriend or girlfriend, right? But this is a different level of crazy. Like, like if you had asked him before this had happened, like, do you think Caitlin's the type of person that would kill someone? And I know Kate, Caitlin said that she wanted to kill what's her name before this. She said this out loud. But like, what, what was he like? Not taking it seriously, or just hoping it wasn't happen? Gonna happen? Like, babe, which one? Oh, babe, just chill, uh, babe. Who knows? You no, know, I don't think he's the brightest bulb. Right? I think he's he's definitely clearly not yeah. the brightest bulb. He bought yeah. he bought the chick the murder weapon literally before he then, told her though will and then he kept hanging yeah. out with the girl that he knew she wanted to kill quote yeah. unquote verbatim so i mean like yes he's he's a moron he's I mean, a I'd, che- I'd check even further into it like he she he probably knew she was following him like it's all it almost sounds like he wanted this girl uh, killed for right. some, was, was yeah. she was she banging someone and he really wanted to be with her is that the problem i, I don't know it sounds it sounds to me like he wanted mo killed honestly and and he figured out a way to get it done without getting in trouble that's that's how I'm reading between the lines, but I mean that would be that'd be some real deception. Right. Yeah, his actions are so intertwined with her death that you have to wonder like what like what I, yeah it's that's mastermind so. type stuff. It's tough. All right, Pat lost his audio. All right, well, we'll uh, Pat, you good? No, nope. okay. All right, well, um, whatever is what well, I'm Pat, saying. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Cares. Whatever. Cares. Cares. <laughs> cares. Well, we're gonna pack our bags anyway, so. It's time for the TikTok International Moment. Guys, I have some uh, disturbing news. Um, it seems some members of our own fan base, whom we affectionately refer to as the Hardo Hive or the Hive, have been busy with some pretty illegal activities, uh, unbeknownst Uh-oh. to us. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty disappointing, actually. It seems some members of the Hive um, hacked the bank of Zambia with some ransomware and the bank uh, put out this statement saying the bank of Zambia wishes to inform members of the public that it experienced a partial disruption to some of its information technology applications on Monday, May 9th, 2022. Um, But unfortunately for the hive, uh, the bank was prepared for such an attack. According to Bloomberg, the bank of Zambia's technical director, Greg uh, Nusofu, decided it was capable of restoring all of its data by itself. So without the assistance of its, you know, wannabe extortionists. So no quote, knowing that we had protected our core systems, it wasn't really nece- uh, necessary for us to even engage in the ransomware conversation. Nusofu said, so we pretty much told them uh, where to get off. So I'm going to find out exactly what happened by talking to some members in, in discord, patreon.com slash hard factor. Okay. Um, and instead of paying the hive with cash, they gave them a picture of one of the world's top 10 largest dicks, um, according to the latest uh, penis size chart. If you want to take a the look hive, at that. The hive yeah. was asking for the biggest dick. <laughs> yeah. T- Zambia, top 10 biggest yeah. dicks. Yeah. And a note that said, suck this dick and stop locking bank networks thinking that you will monetize something. Learn to monetize. So someone in the hive got a big old black dick sent to them. And I, you guys want to see what the big black dick they sent looks like? Is it the eggplant behind you? Yeah, it's that was the eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> so that's so the whole story. Zambia's government replied <laughs> with that? What? Yeah, Zambia's, Zambia's the, not, the Bank of Zambia replied with a dick pic. Yeah, yeah basically <laughs> the, ba- the Bank of Zambia's IT security guy was yeah. was was like was celebrating because his soft he backed up his shit yes. and the hackers didn't have anything. So then he taunted them. 
Like, yeah, that's dick. incredible. That he is. literally wrote, uh, suck this dick and stop <laughs> blocking bank networks thinking that you will monetize wow. something. Learn to monetize. So, an insult to the hive. But they probably deserve that. We're sure the well, hive that guy's this? also like job for life. The, 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 the hacker group is called uh, Hive. So, oh. yeah. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if the hive did it. I don't know. I don't know if they're up. I don't know what they're up to in there. That's know. awesome. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, OK, let's do a double animal one now. First, to Germany and Mark and Will um, are resident cat owners. And I guess Pat to uh, stepdad to a cat, whatever, um, especially Will Cats for this one, um, who has an absolute killer of an outdoor cat. You can be oh. lucky you don't live in Waldorf, Germany this summer, because if you did, Big Mike would not be allowed outside this summer because of a fucking bird. And Will, you're also a bird guy. So I want to know your position after this. So from Euro yeah. News. Um, this decree of no cats allowed outside until the end of August in this town is to save the crested lark. And here's a picture of the crested lark. Oh, and yeah, that's just a food. snack. Yeah. 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 And the problem is, is that this like bird tiny is so- chicken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, man, I want to eat it. That looked good. <laughs> well, what makes it so so dumb is this bird actually nests on the ground. Yeah. So it's like dumb. it's like the easiest prey for cats in the world and like sleeps um, a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it just nests in uh-huh. the ground, as yeah. you guys can see. Yeah. So the bird's so population is walk up to that nest and eat all of them. Eat all of them. It's not even a chore. Yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. even hard. Um, so the bird's population in Western Europe has declined in recent decades, although it is listed as a, a species of least concern in Europe by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Quote, among other things, the survival of the species depends on every single chick. Authorities in Waldorf said the rule applies to all cats in the southern part of the town and will be repeated for the next three years from April to August. Now, listen to this. If uh, if you let your cat out, if they're found roaming around five, uh, five hundred euro fine or all summer. Fine. Yeah. Oh, if, they're, if they're found with a lark in their mouth, 50,000. Pounds. Fifty thousand pounds. Fifty thousand pounds. That bankrupts you. <laughs> or in, if they enter it or kill it, fifty thousand euros. Are you euros. kidding me? Couldn't yeah. you just explain like that? I tried really hard and the cat got out. Like, couldn't you make that know. excuse? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could possibly. I mean, I'd have I mean, to move. I would have yeah. to move. I'd yeah. have to move. I or take or take take your cat's uh, tags off and then just hope. It well, but get they caught. no because they're they're microchipped. They would shit. kill the cat. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, they would yeah, kill the cat for sure. 50k is the other is the option though. Right, right. right. No, no, no. They're about, like if your cat has the chip, you're done. You're, yeah. you're toast. You got to so first it, cut the chip out. It's, yeah, you mm-hmm. have to. Yeah, there's a lot of steps. <laughs> and you got to so, do it. You, you got to do it. At, you know, at an underground vet because yeah. otherwise they're gonna with know gloves, with gloves on Ear, too. Earmuffs, <laughs> earmuffs, Mark. Since since you were uh, his original father, but I'd either have to kill Mike or move yeah. one of the two. Well, yeah. So uh, Mike is Mike is so every big. Mark I saw there. I saw the pictures this weekend of of your baby girl putting gravel on Mike. Yeah, and, he's huge. And he's huge. He'd be he, he'd yeah. be eating seven larks a day. Well, yeah, and also that's the reason he can't come inside all summer long because he's yeah. he's enormous and he jump jumps on. He's an outdoor cat, so he's like always fucking with everything. He's got to so he be can't. 25 pounds easy. This would be a death sentence for yeah. all of us. My entire family, if they did this to us, yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. I would have to literally leave town or you wouldn't be able to have Mike over a summer. No family could handle him over a summer. No. Yeah. Um, And animal experts who say it's fucked up to punish and blame cats for destruction that humans have caused um, are also not happy about this. Quote, suddenly preventing cats that are used to going outside from doing so means immense restrictions and stress for the animals. So they're going to fuck your house up. They're going to fuck your house up trying to go out. They're going to ruin the couch. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. People that have cats now that are outdoor cats are fucked. Yeah, These cats fucked. are used to going to the bathroom outside. Yeah. There's right. going to be a whole problem with the litter box. There's going to yeah. be everything's going to be a mess. Good this, luck this getting is ruining sleep. lives. They're going to slap lives. you in the yeah. face with the second you go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, people are just going to be like, just let it out. It's yeah. pissed on the wall I'll take eight the times. Fine. Yeah. I'll yeah. Take you wake up yeah. just terrified with yeah. scratches yeah. all over your it's, face. It's, it's yeah. May. It's almost August. Yeah. <laughs> In the next three years, cats live to what twenty five? I mean, no, like, yeah. Yeah. fifteen to twenty. Well, yeah. No, if you're if you're an outdoor cat person in this town, it's it's fucked up. But you'd probably just yeah. have to have to move towns. Yeah, yeah, or stupid get, let, just <laughs> let the get rid of the cat. Look, yeah. these birds deserve it, right? Or just any give it bird up. That Gift nests it, on yeah. the ground is a fucking idiot. You know what they should farm do? or something? Yeah. All the cat owners in this town 
should mass give up their cats to the to the shelter and then they'll reverse it right away. They would have the city won't want to deal with all those cats. Yeah. They won't want to be yeah. known for like exterminating a thousand cats at once. Right. So they'll just like they'll be like, oh, fuck it. Let's just well, we've got a lot of larks, but no cats now. We had to kill off. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're also saying, you know, <laughs> humans yeah. did this. So let's 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 get to the get to the actual cause of this and fix that versus like fucking right. up a bunch of cats. Yeah, what about it's the, also hun- least what about the hunting of the larks? <laughs> yeah, the, they the, said the larks are least concerned. Why? Yeah. Why? Why is this town concerned if it's least concerned? I, I, someone's got a hard on for the larks. In this yeah, is town. anyone going to really miss the larks? No, no, they're stupid. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. Nesting on the ground. They never evolved far enough yeah, to figure right. out to not nest on the they're ground. Really, yeah, they're, they're idiots. Evolved. Like they're this not is, built for 2022. This Lazy. is what happens. That's right. Laziest <laughs> like, bird alive. Um, the, larks are, the larks are relying on some nerd to come up with the law to survive. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's fortunate. Um, all right. Well, one more. Let's go to Argentina. Mark sent this one to me early. You guys ever hear the Monte uh, uh, Monte massacre in Argentina? No, no. Okay, so it's an Argentina police police in 2019. Uh, police shot a car during a high high suit pursuit. It's alleged that like the cops went up to the car. It was full of teenagers. They flashed like a gun or a flashlight, caused the teens to get really scared. The teens fled, and then the cops just fired at the car while they were in, like like out the window at the car while they were chasing them. The uh, wow. the car then um, uh, ran into a parked um, trailer. And it just it just killed everyone in the car. There's there's the aftermath of it. They killed, killed three, yeah, they, they killed three teens and an adult in the car. Um, and Damn. the cops involved were like, oh, fuck, we killed all these kids like this is our fault. And they tried to cover it up and they tried to make it look like an accident. And it was then found out which because is tough of, to do when you have a thousand bullet holes in the car, right? Which when, when there's a bullet, when there's a bullet in the 14 year old's body yeah, and, his skull. and there's yeah. yeah, and there's like shells all around it. So. Um, it got found out and 24 there was protests all over. It was a big fucking deal. It was like it was like the symbol of like police abuse in Argentina. Um, wow. And 24 cops got charged and um, were under, you know, they're about to go to court. And just recently, May 10th, one of those cops who was on um, house arrest, this guy, uh, Claudio, uh, I forget his fucking ass name. Uh, he's one of the main guys, Cla- Claudio or oh, sorry. It doesn't matter. Um, he was he was a, a lot of them have one. A lot of them have one name in Argentina. Right. Just go with Claudio. Yeah, it's Claudio. Right. Right. He's, known, he's, he's, he's known as Claudio. <laughs> yeah, um, he had a pit bull. I mean, not a pit bull, a Rottweiler. Sorry, for the little slip there. Um, and the fucking Rottweiler attacked him and uh, killed him while he was awaiting trial on house arrest. His own dog um, fucking killed him. There's a vigilante and- Rottweiler. Yeah, it's just one of his own, one of his own dogs. I mean, they're yeah, this two. Rottweiler did, did a good job uh, since he is a dirty cop, I guess. That, but there was a Rottweiler that killed kids last week in America, in too, Virginia, so. in Virginia, a one-year-old, yeah. right? Yeah. A one-year-old, right? Or two years? No, seven-year-old. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah and so those, those grandparents are getting charged with murder. Wes, where are they at on the on your list? Are they out there with pit bulls now? They're number two. I mean, just based on stats, they're still the behind stats. pit bulls. Well, here are the stats. Look at six, 65 percent of deaths by dogs are caused by pit bulls. Ten percent Rottweilers, which are number two. Isn't so. that just a numbers game because there's more pit bulls? I don't know. No, I think it's because they're good more question. That's, I'd good like question. to see the amount of I'd like to see pit bulls versus the amount of. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know. Right. Because a Rottweiler is a big animal. Strong. Yeah. Huge animal. I just don't think they're as, uh, as as mean and and they don't have the prey drive. That we Rottweilers had a friend that had Rottweilers. They were yeah. they were gorgeous, but we weren't even allowed to to go near them. The, oh, my cousin had one. We weren't uh, allowed. She, the family wouldn't let up. us near them. Yeah, she had to give it up because it attacked uh, her friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so I think we're they're like, we're like, can't we can't we see the Rottweilers? They're like, no, you, you well, can't. Don't get either they're one. Going, they're going to bite you. You got you, you got a small child. Don't get either one. Okay, yeah. Wes. How about that? <laughs> this is a real dolphin orca situation for you, I think. It's like you're you're worried yeah. about one, but both are actually a threat. Well, listen, you any, got blinders on because of the giant pit giant <laughs> dog can be a big threat, but the pit bull is just way more dangerous than any other dog, and that's never going to change. All right, all right. You know, um, as far as being a bird person and having a cat, this is how I've reconciled it in my brain. I used to have bird feeders, uh, and I just don't do that anymore because that would be very bad, right? That, that would be like, up, yeah, yeah, that would yeah. be fucked up. 
That's fucking yeah, so I had to get rid of the bird feeders when I had a <laughs> It's big of you. How many yeah, birds yeah. did you go through before you got rid of it? <laughs> a few. A few uh, quite a few. I used to have <laughs> quite a bird few. bird feeders with glue around the outside of uh, <laughs> <laughs> their little feet would get stuck. <laughs> Make it real easy. Yeah. Watch him pounce. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's stuck. <laughs> anyway. So. Oh, yeah, pretty uh, but sweet, sweet uh, you know, justice served by the Rottweiler there. Wow. For those nice. things, deaths. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we thank you, Wes. Thank you, Wes. And before we close out with another insane last international story, another one, the Globe giveth today. Let's talk about one of our long term sponsors, Black Buffalo. Check out this sweet hat they just sent me. Very nice. Yeah. Very, it is very nice. stylish. Best color uh, possible, black. Exactly. And their color. There's nothing better than a dip uh, during many of the best summertime activities there are to do whether you're chilling at the pool or the beach chill beach or pool chilling in the sun in general nice to toss in a nice lip from time to time fishing golfing going to bars uh watching movies lots of activities where a nice little lip little, little, little lip little dip will uh really relax things set it writing, off writing writing for the show writing for the mm-hmm. show exactly and now that black buffalo provides such a high quality tobacco free alternative i'm getting those relaxing dip sessions 100 percent guilt free my friends uh if you're 21 and up and dip or chew this edible green leaf and food grade ingredient tobacco alternative made in the usa is definitely worth a shot i'm a pouches guy myself pouches and black buffalo just sent me some of the blood orange pouches. Whoa, new product. Excited to try those. Uh, my personal go-tos are, are always any of the flavors, the mint, the wintergreen, the uh, straight uh, pouches. Now I'm going to try the, the blood orange. Uh, what do you guys like? What are your favorites? Uh, blood orange. Blood orange. There you go. That's a, that's a big winner. A lot, or winter wintergreen. Wintergreen. Oh, there we go. We got, we got all the good flavors covered. Uh, and so can you. Uh, it's 2022. Are you still dipping traditional tobacco or those white portion things? If you are, uh, if so, and you're 21, uh, it's time to get with Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dipping just without the actual tobacco leaf or stem. Head to blackbuffalo.com and use promo code HARDFACTOR, all one word, and check out for 25% off your first order. Uh, That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use our promo code HARDFACTOR, all one word, for 25% off your first order. That's Promo code hard factor, all one word for 25% off your first order. Uh, warning uh, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. So, uh, Thanks, Dad. But, yeah, <laughs> right. But Black Buffalo, delicious stuff. Great tobacco free alternative. And, uh, fellas, here's the last one of the day. I was looking for what to report on this Monday. Oh, by the way, um, NHL playoffs going on to uh, Tampa Bay. Really beating up on the Panthers there. So Tampa Bay and Colorado. Florida on Florida. Carolina crime. looking good. Yeah. yeah, Florida, 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 Florida. Battle of Alberta. Awesome. The two Canadian teams up there. Um, uh, also, we saw that Boeing, you know, they finally got uh, their Starliner to dock with the International Space Station two and a half years late. But that's certainly not worth its own story. Um, there's elections this week. It's uh, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, and the Texas runoffs. But all those races are pretty much over before the vote starts. So not really many good picks to give out this week. Although June is going to be hot for election picks. Predictit.org slash promo slash art factor 40. It's your four, first 40 match in there to get in on that. Uh, but there is one thing I found, fellas, that we do have to look into before any time passes. An alarming trend uh, out of Asia this year, 2022. And warning, it's a shocking topic. Um, multiple Asian men have cut their own penises off because of marijuana in 2022 to get it dope. No, just uh, because of it, whether they have ingested it or, or, or all, all after ingestion, but for, for different, they got paranoid reasons. that their dick was coming, coming for, for them. A lot of paranoia, Mark, a lot yeah. of paranoia. Oh my God. Uh, my my all my problems in life are my dick i just realized right now <laughs> you're you're dialed in today mark it's literally yeah. exactly what happened the latest yeah. is a man out of uh dakar village in uh, assam state india roughly 700 people um in his village uh 
and this guy, um, I'm going to play you his video, uh, Mr. M.D. Sahajul Ali. He goes by Ali. So here he is. Huh? Why did you hear Hanatim Malabar? Mute Ali now. But, uh, he has what a I'm nickname showing now, here, Dickless, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm showing you here is Ali laying on a hospital bed, relatively calm, uh, right after slicing his own penis off on May 19th. <laughs> Uh, what, could he be, what could he be saying? <laughs> what, I wish I could you. go back in time. I wish it, it was a mistake. He's, <laughs> he's rambling on about something. It must be what a, what a mistake he, he made, right? Yeah, it's got to be about a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be about the mistake. I've he's thought about it. He's still yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a three-minute video. He just keeps going. Uh, you'd think, guys, he'd be talking about how big of a mistake it was. Yeah. Um, but no. He's just elaborating on why he cut his penis off over feeling guilty about smoking marijuana. Um, and in this hospital interview, Ali is telling the uh, Guwathi Times, quote, my religion does not allow me to smoke cannabis. After I smoked it, I was worried that something bad was going to happen to society. So I chopped off my penis <laughs> for the greater good to repent my action. Unquote. Thank you. Wow. Save the world. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Not yeah. only that, guys, Ali actually doubled down on that uh, in this long rant you're watching, well, saying least, that sir. if he survives and could chop off his dick all over again for the greater good, he would do it again. For yeah, do it again. OK. Yeah, so that's what surprising. he's saying yeah. during this long rant on a hospital bed with no dick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Some saying you do it again is <laughs> shocking. Something tells me how how so long shocking. is he still high right here? Is he, is he still high right he's here? He's definitely or? still high. Yeah, he's so yeah, look how long he's talking about he's cutting his own dick off. Yeah, um, <laughs> he is going to not be happy when he wakes up from his nap. I mean, look at the guy's teeth. He's he's been yeah. doing way more than cannabis. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Here's what his yeah, son what? has to say. His son, his son yeah. saying, uh, I'm glad he did it now instead of yeah. 19 years ago when yeah. I was right. born. Right. I'm glad he didn't smoke 19 years ago. You guys are right on it. Uh, Ali's son uh, told the media that Ali is very mentally unstable mm. forever. Uh, and, and, and he's on a lot of other hard drugs besides marijuana. It's just, yeah. he's so who, did someone pay him? Did, did an anti-marijuana, uh, no, no, no. Ali's just insane. Um, also, Ali's friend uh, laughed and remembered the time, uh, where Ali allegedly, uh, spent a night with a lion to, uh, repent. For something else potentially also being a pothead at that time back in 2003 so this has just been ali's thing forever he, i don't know which i don't know which one's crazier spending a night with an eye <laughs> off the line or cut your dick off <laughs> right? what's next which insane. one's worse yeah both insane as his son said was <laughs> how close was he to the lion were they like in the cage know. together the friend was just like you think this is bad yeah you think the cutting off his dick is bad look at what he did in 2003 he spent a night with a lion once jesus so, but fellas, like I said, in Asia, this is a trend worth paying attention to uh, since another man in Thailand did something similar back in February. Uh, I'm laughing, but it's just nervous laughter. Something uh, similar or exactly the same? It, worse. Thai okay. man 23 <laughs> oh, completely ow. amputates his own penis with oh. scissors oh, to hurts. get rid of a painful erection during cannabis fueled psychotic episode. The guy took a two gram bong hit. Um, and uh, a then painful erection, was, jerk it yeah. off, bro. Yeah, yeah this he does thought, not happen. On yeah, he must have been on weed too. Yeah, uh, but uh, this, is, this, this is some K two shit, man. Dude, right. what kind of those it's are pretty up, pretty, pretty impressive scissors, <laughs> right? It's some shears, Mark. That definitely either that or <laughs> tiny penis. I, mean, a lot of time, yeah. I need to upgrade the scissors in my house after hearing <laughs> that story. <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, and as an enormous weed lover myself, who's excited about all the new legalizations happening all the time, all over the globe, um, I'd like to say that if smoking weed makes you want to chop your own dick off. You know, simply find another hobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, or different weed. Put it down. Yeah, I mean, definitely different yeah, weed. That weed was laced. <laughs> Came pretty don't close last wait. time. Think I'm going to pass. Don't yeah. even wait for a second, though. <laughs> well, how paranoid I mean, do you get? The first second you think, hey, I, maybe I'll chop yeah. my dick off. Just stop right, right away. Everyone, yeah. gets, everyone gets a little paranoid. You just don't like to talk to people? No, it goes a little further than that. <laughs> right. 
I almost cut my dick off every yeah. single time. You ever this thought? I, you I ever have to be this? talked out of it every single time. <laughs> pinned down. I have to be pinned down. Yep. Who wants to volunteer? Who wants to volunteer to make sure I don't cut my dick off this time? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for this guy. Uh, Ali's like I apparently needed that. I mean, the, the friend who was not surprised. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's gonna do it for hard factor today. Uh, wheel time. It's time for the wheel. Wheel uh, time. Wes, you got that? You uh, I can get it. I can pull it up. Yeah. All right. Got um, it. Got it right here. I mean, Taking you off because you're off the rest of the week, correct? I am. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. I'm doing a weird week off where I'm starting it on a day after the week starts, you know? So it's like I'll we'll talk to everybody here. next Tuesday's episode. Be my first show back. Right. Share, share screen, chrome tab. Wheel. Wheel. All right, here we go. Cup of coffee in the big time. Oh, I need it back. Triple dipple. I mean, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> He's got yeah, I don't, whatever. Mark's like, doing the triple dipple. Cares. Yeah. That's and on Pat. TikTok. All right. Uh, love you all as always. Thank you for listening. Can't wait to talk to you again next Tuesday for me, tomorrow for the rest of the boys. But most importantly, Get out there and have a great fucking day.